Chef Ashley here. I'm going to give everybody a few minutes to kind of hop on. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. So if you're ready to go, let's wash those hands and get started. Today we're going to be making healthy banana splits and we've got one extra bonus snack I'm going to show you guys how to make too. So very important to wash your hands before you get started in the kitchen, especially with everything that's going on these days. Got to keep those hands clean. Warm water, soap for at least 30 seconds. All right. So, welcome back to my kitchen. Chef Kenny and I are having a blast coming up with stuff to teach you guys how to cook from home in your own kitchen. Um, as usual, Chef Kenny's going to be down in the comments, so if you have any questions about anything, you can reach out to him, and he's going to walk you through it if you didn't catch it. And if you join us a little bit late, we already have the recipe posted on the Facebook page, and it'll also be in the comments below so that you guys can catch up if you miss anything at all. So no worries. So today we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, somebody reached out and said that they wanted us to do a recipe that was kind of more of an assembly, something with fresh fruit, really easy to do. So I thought that a healthy banana split would be an awesome choice. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. First, you're going to get kind of like a wide bowl so that we can put a bunch of stuff in here. Of course, we're going to start with bananas. Mine have been sitting for a day or two, so they're a little bit brown, but I kind of like them that way because they're a little bit sweeter. Bananas are really healthy for you. They're full of potassium, so if you ever wake up with one of those annoying leg cramps, bananas are the way to go. So we're going to peel our banana. Toss that peel. And as you normally would with a banana split, we're going to split it right down the middle carefully. And I'm going to show you guys how to hold your knife because I don't know if we've talked about knife skills. So let me show you real quick an easy way to hold your knife. So you've got the blade here. This is the part that cuts your food, and you've got the handle here. So what Chef Kenny and I say in the cooking lab all the time. Is an easy way to hold your knife and a safe way to hold your knife is to put two fingers right in the center of the blade and the handle here and then you're going to wrap those other three fingers around so just like that and some people will put one finger here to kind of direct their knife um, but you can also just hold on to the handle there so with your other hand we call it the claw and the reason that we use the claw is because we want to keep our fingertips back so nobody cuts themselves so the way that you do that is you growl and pull your fingertips back and then you've got your claw. So anytime you're cutting, you've got to have a claw hand and then the safe way that I showed you to hold your knife just like this. So we're all set. So, so far, if you're just joining in, we just split our banana in half and we are doing healthy banana splits. Now, of course, whenever you go to an ice cream parlor or wherever you get a banana split, you're going to get ice cream. But to be a little bit healthier, we're going to be using a Greek yogurt. So Greek yogurt is a little bit different from regular yogurt. It goes through a process where they take all of the whey out, which is a protein, and that's what makes it a little bit thicker. So Greek yogurt is really yummy because it's a lot thicker. You can use vanilla. Um, you could use pineapple, strawberry, berry, any sort of fruit is going to be delicious. And we're going to kind of mix that up a little bit. And we're going to put about a half a cup to a cup. If you want a little bit more, you can. What I kind of like to do is just dollop it about three big scoops there, just like you would with ice cream. And we're going to add all sorts of sweet stuff to this. So if you only had plain, that's totally cool. We're going to be using what we've got here. So we've got our banana, got our Greek yogurt. And now we're going to get to the fun part, which is topping everything. So I kind of want to run through our toppings before we get started and talk about those a little bit. So we've got strawberries. Everybody loves strawberries. It's seasonal. They're really easy to find. Um, Cottle Berry Farms is a local farm that has them. So if you can find local, that's always better. We've got strawberries. I love berries. So we've got raspberries as well. You want to make sure that you wash all of your berries. 
We've got blackberries. Those are pretty easy to find in South Carolina too. You might even know somebody that's got like a blackberry or raspberry bush in their yard, which is awesome. And then we've got blueberries. So I haven't washed my blueberries yet. I'm gonna wash those really quickly with berries and with all fruits and veggies. You wanna make sure that you wash them as soon as you get home under some warm water. And a good way to store berries, I found, especially like raspberries and blackberries, is once you kind of rinse them off, you can set them on a paper towel to dry off a little bit and then just put them in a bowl. And the paper towel is gonna keep them from getting smushy in the bowl. So, got blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries. You can use any fruit that you want to with these. Um, I really like pineapple and peaches. I haven't seen so many peaches yet lately, but peaches are really delicious on this too. And then one of my favorites, kiwi fruit. So um, if you don't know the best way to eat a kiwi fruit, I'm gonna show you. We're going to use a vegetable peeler. You can also use your knife safely if you want to. Um, either way is gonna work. I found last year during summer camp, a girl who was in one of Chef Kenny and I's classes and she said that she just eats the kiwi whole with the skin and all. And you know kiwi fruits have kind of that like scratchy skin on them. I was like, are you serious? So we looked it up on Google and she's right. Some people like to eat the skin on kiwi fruit, which I think is crazy, but you know, different people like different things and I'm not gonna hate on them for it. So if you like to leave the skin on, you can do whatever you want to. All right, so I'm gonna peel my kiwi. You can tell uh, kiwi is ready to be eaten because it'll be a little bit soft and totally fragrant. They have such a great smell to them. You'll know it's ready because it'll be soft, kind of like a peach or a tomato. All right, so I'll use my vegetable peeler. Some people use spoons too. You can just scrape that skin right off. And then we've got, if you can see, those two ends kind of have a little bit of a, a stem to it. So we're just going to cut those off. This one's really ripe. It's kind of smushy. It's going to be delicious. All right, so you can slice your kiwi fruit just like that. And you see I've got my finger here directing my knife. You can also hold it just like that, like I showed you guys earlier. I love kiwi fruit. They're so good. I think they go really well with um, strawberries too. So this is going to be real good. So I'm going to use one whole kiwi, but I think I'm going to use half of it from my snack that I'm going to show you in a little bit. So I'm just going to take my kiwi fruit and just kind of put it all over that yogurt and banana there as our first layer. And they're kind of smushy, so I'm gonna rinse my hands off a little bit. Oh my gosh, it already smells good in here. It smells very tropical. All right, so next let's do strawberries. I love strawberries. They're amazing too. So we've got the stem here. Just pull the stem back just a little bit. Move my kiwi out of the way. And then you've got your knife, just like I showed you. You've got uh, right in the center here, two fingers, wrap the rest around, and you're going to saw back and forth to take that stem right off. All right, and now we're gonna slice our strawberry. You can also dice it. So a slice of strawberry is going to be about this size here. I don't know if you can see it. And then if we want a little bit smaller, a dice is gonna be a little bit smaller. So I'll show you that too. You can do either, slice or dice. I don't know why, whenever I'm eating a salad or something, I just like everything to be in lots of little pieces so it mixes up really well. All right, so I showed you a slice of strawberry and now dice. So that was one strawberry. I think I'm gonna do two because I love strawberries. So grab another one. Remember, pull that stem back. Hold your knife safely. Saw back and forth right there. And then we're going to slice. And then we're going to take it a step further, a little bit smaller, and dice it. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so you're just gonna put those on top of the kiwi, on top of the blueberry, I mean, on top of the kiwis and the bananas. That's what we're looking like so far. Now let's add some berries, blackberries. I don't think you really need to cut these. Um, they're small, so we'll just kind of put a few on there. And 
Raspberries are my favorite. Good source of vitamin C, really sweet. They make really good jam too. So we've got our blackberries, raspberries, and I think we should put a few blueberries too. Blueberries are full of antioxidants. Really, really good for you. So, so far, this is a super healthy snack. I've been in um, quarantine for weeks and weeks, trying to do what I can to stay out of the public, and so I've just found myself wanting to snack and snack and snack. And so this is what I've been doing to kind of get that sweet fix without it being super healthy. All right, so we've got bananas, then we did our Greek yogurt on there. We've got kiwi, strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries. So now I think we need a little bit of crunch because I like crunching things. So we've got um, a protein-rich granola. My granola has chocolate chips in it. The recipe that we posted said that you could add chocolate chips. If you want to do double, you can, of course, because it's chocolate chips and we're being so healthy here. So I'm going to sprinkle some granola right across the top with those delicious chocolate chips in there. You can do any flavor. You can do plain. You could do some sort of fruit one that's got dried berries. Anything you want to. All right, and then let's see, almonds. Almonds are really good. They're a source of protein as well. They're one of my favorites. You could do cashews. You could do peanut butter or peanuts, anything you want to. All right, so we're going to sprinkle those right across. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. All right, and now I've got some coconut. So this is the coconut that's a little bit sweetened. So it's going to give you a little bit of sweetness in there in case you didn't have enough with all the berries. I love coconut, so I'm going to do extra. If you don't care for some of these ingredients, you can um, do whatever you want to. You can add some cinnamon. You can add one of my favorites, which is, where is it? Honey. Um, I think it's really great to support local businesses, so I get local honey. You can find those at like 14 Carat, um, Rosewood Market, even Publix I think sometimes has that. And if you don't, if you just got regular honey, that's great too. It all does the same job. Okay, so this is looking amazing. Um, two more things that you can put on here, especially if you really want to make sure that you're getting lots of protein and it's a really healthy snack, is you can use um, almond or peanut butter or cashew butter or any kind of butter. I really like almond. Um, so you can put some of that on there. You could just put a little bit of a dollop on that. But my favorite is um, jam. So you can do um, raspberry jam, some sort of berry jam. This is a strawberry fig jam that a friend of mine, Brooke, her mom made it last summer and she canned it fresh. So these are all fresh ingredients. So I'm going to put a little bit of Brooke's mom's delicious strawberry fig preserves or jam right on top of there. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can't wait to eat this. I hope you guys are having fun putting yours together too. All right, oh my gosh, that looks so good. All right, so, so far, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer. We've got healthy banana splits. We've got bananas as our base. Then we used Greek yogurt. You can use any kind of yogurt, any flavor yogurt. And then we put any sort of topping that you want to. We try to stick with lots of um, fresh fruits. So we did kiwis, which are one of my favorites. You could do pineapple, you could do mango, you could do peach, you can do anything you want to. Um, we also added some berries. We did raspberry, blackberry, blueberry. And then we did a little bit of crunch with some almonds. We've got a little bit of coconut in there. And then we topped it with some honey and some preserves. So that is amazing. I can't wait to eat it. I'm going to show you guys, too, how to make a second snack really easy using most of the same ingredients. So one thing that Kenny and I uh, do a lot in the cooking lab in our classes, in camps, everybody wants to know how to make a parfait. So a parfait is a really simple, easy, layered snack that uses a lot of the same ingredients. So we're going to use fresh fruit, we're going to use yogurt, and granola. And so what we like to do is find a clear um, sort of glass or cup, and that way you can see those nice layers in there. And this is a really good one because you can make a snack and then you can just kind of cover it up, throw it in the refrigerator, and have it for later. So you're going to really like this one. 
So first, let's start with our Greek yogurt or your regular yogurt, whatever kind of yogurt you've got. And that'll be our first layer. So we're gonna do a layer of yogurt right in there. I would say maybe two big spoonfuls will be great. There we go. And then we're gonna take some of our fruit. I saved some of my kiwis from earlier, so I'm going to put those in there as my first layer of fruit. Oh, they're so pretty too. I love, I love kiwis, they're so bright green. All right, and then we're gonna do some granola. You could also use some of those almonds or coconut, especially if you're going for more of like a tropical flavor with maybe a pineapple or mango or something, that would be really good with the coconut. So I'm going to put that right in there. So three layers, and then we're just going to repeat it. So we'll do another layer of our Greek yogurt. Straight in. Maybe two big scoops. Yes. And I told you earlier that raspberries are my favorite, and I wasn't lying, so I'm going to put a bunch of raspberries in there. Yes, yes. It's going to be so tasty. All right, get in there. Raspberries, and I'm going to switch it up and do a layer of almonds and throw in some of that granola too. So we're just repeating. We've got yogurt, fruit, granola, yogurt, fruit, granola, and we're just going to repeat that until we are to the top. And these look beautiful too. Another thing you can do with these is you can make what we call a trifle. So instead of using granola, you could use like a shortbread or a shortcake and you could use whipped cream, but keep with the fruit theme and that's really tasty. We do those sometimes in the summer too and the kids really, really like that. All right, and I'm gonna put some blackberries and some blueberries on top. Oh my gosh, this looks awesome. And a little sprinkle of coconut for sweetness. And you know what, let's go with the local honey too. That is some good stuff right there. Just to top it off. Perfect. Check it out. Let me find the best angle where you can see all the layers. It's beautiful and it's super healthy. Like I said, if you wanted to make this in the morning so that you had something to snack on, you can totally do that. Throw some plastic wrap on it. Um, and it'll hold in the fridge for um, probably an afternoon or so. So that way you can kind of meal prep and have something sweet to eat that's not, you know, full of sugar and really bad for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the banana splits and the parfaits. They were really easy to make. Um, if you want to get creative with it at home and use all sorts of different fruits and different toppings, that would be awesome. Let us know. You can tag us at Adventure Eats at Home. If you have any suggestions, Chef Kenny and I love to hear your suggestions. The, uh, we would be happy to hear what you guys want to see in the future, so you can comment that. If you guys liked it, share it, and um, we'll see you next week. Bye!